Hello everybody and welcome back to Questing Mark. I'm Bryant here with Evan. Hi. Uh, and we are here doing our fifth draft of this booster draft game. So, quick heads up, as you can clearly see from our deck details page, we forgot to draft three drops. Uh, and that's not a terrible problem because our deck is basically a ramp deck, but I think it is going to hurt us in at least one game. That said, still think we're going to be able to get to five wins with this. So, uh, let's find out. Evan, do you have any input? What? Good job. <laughs> All right. I agree with you completely. Okay. Evan got me coffee because he's super sweet. Yeah. He just called himself super sweet. Okay. So we are on the draw, which is okay. It's not exactly what we want. Uh, especially considering the general lack of three drops in our deck. All right, this goes turn two, Bloodstone Goblin, turn three, Urza's Tome, guaranteed. We would have to draw two lands in the next three draw step, four draw steps to make this worth it, and we have two in our opening hand. I think this is worth mulliganing. I might have been incorrect. <laughs> um... I can keep this because it has the Urza's Tome in it, plus there's the Scry to hopefully help us get a threat. Uh, sure. Mulligan. 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 Okay. Uh, Gift of Growth? No, not what we want on top. All right, show me what you got. Forest? All right, great. How about a forest? Oh, they kept a one-lander. Perfect. I love winning because of my skill. Play this mountain. Uh, play this Gitu Chronicler. Not kicked, obviously. Uh, do I want to do this? I think we can just use Urza's Tome to better effect. End turn. Urza's Tome. Tap for three. Draw a card. Then discard a card. How about this Gitu Chronicler? Oh man, this is mean. Skizik. Uh, cancel, because I forgot we have to kick that to make it worth it. Uh, let's play Elfame Druid, then. Then pass turn. Ah, <laughs> they discarded Squee, that's clever. Alright, they're in the game. Uh, do I want to Shiv and Fire and be mean? Uh, no, we're good. Uh, let's see here. We can play Skizik Kicked because of the Elfim Druid. We can just play Grun. Grun is a bigger threat. Uh, let's just go ahead and play Grun. Uh, unkicked. Uh, this mana, two, three, four, wait. Okay. Wait, I can't actually play Grun. One, two, three, four, and this only taps for one because Grun isn't being kicked. All right, fine. Uh, we'll play Skizik and attack then. Skizik with kicker. Two, three, four, five, doesn't matter. Attack. Bang. Perfect. All right, let's see what they've got for us. Broken Bond, destroying Urza's Tome. See, this is why we main deck artifact remove and they're dead. They have killed themselves. <laughs> That's fair. That yeah, it happened a little bit later than I expected. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, let's try to play a fair game now. Because, <laughs> to be honest, there is no way we should have won that one. Uh, we kept a pretty bad hand. Kestra, also playing as Chandra. The most boring character in the whole storyline. Okay, turn to Elfim Druid into... Uh, 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 oh no. Don't tempt me like this. If we draw a forest in the next two draw steps, we get... If we draw a forest next turn, we get a turn two Steel Leaf Champion. If we draw a forest in the next two draw steps, we get a turn three Steel Leaf Champion, which is still fine. Ah, the payoff is worth it. Not getting there doesn't kill us. Let's do it. 
Let's have some fun with this one. Alright. They didn't keep a one-lander this time. Which is always unfortunate for us, but hey, at least it'll be a little more entertaining, right? What are you gonna play? I think it should be a land. It was a land. There's Grun. Uh, that's not a forest. Uh, play this Elfin Druid and hopefully get a forest. Uh, but the Elfame Druid does help us cast Grun, so it's not a total loss. Alright, come on, forest! Let's get there! I don't like that card, but that's not a forest. Alright, we have four mana. What are we gonna do with it? Um... We are going to... Play this Bloodstone Goblin. And pass our turn. Because there's not much else we can do with that. Hopefully they don't get too much value off this Land of War Scout. I don't like this card, just because you run out of gas so early, and if you get it in the late game, it kind of does nothing. But early game, it can be a bit of a threat, see? That resolves. Like, I'm not gonna Gift of Growth it, Shiv and Fire won't kill it, so... Yep, that's a threat. Combat, attack, block, my turn. Okay, there's another Shiv and Fire, which makes me willing to use a Shiv and Fire to kill this Thalid Omnivore. We can do that, right? Costs five kicks. Okay, we have five. Cool. Alright, combat, attack, with my Bloodstone Goblin. Uh, wait, cancel attack. I should be able to, at the beginning of combat, use Shiv and Fire, but I can't, because Arena. Um... Unfortunate. Alright. Uh, gonna shiv and fire your dude. And then get him for an extra one. Bang. Okay. So now we're a little bit ahead on tempo, but we're behind on lands. Which is real bad. Uh, if we get a forest, that'll leave us with... Five mana that we can use to play Grun, but three mana that we can use to play Steel Leaf Champion, which is good. Because currently they can't block Steel Leaf Champion. And a 5-4 coming in every turn. Alright, now they have a 3-3, three, three, but they would have to use that to block Steel Leaf Champion, and I'm fine with that. Um, Do we attack Shiv and Fire again if we don't draw a land? I think so. Hmm. Oh, alright. Hit me for three. So we know there are no more lands in their hand, or at least we can guess. Um. It would probably be better to shiv and fire than attack. So that we can guarantee the Bloodstone Goblin isn't blocked. Sure, let's do that. Uh, pay two, three, four, five. Shiv and fire. Thing dies. You take three from the goblin. And I will point out, I'm not doing this just to buff the goblin. I'm getting rid of their guys. Because, like, the second we draw another land, we're gonna be okay. The second we draw two more lands, we're gonna be okay. Uh, you know, three more lands, five more lands, it'll be fine. Everything. Oh, they're playing Navigator's Compass. God, we win. <laughs> okay. Alright, I am suddenly feeling significantly better about this game. <laughs> Why is that? Navigator's Compass is a very bad card. Um, basically, if you would rather run a basic land than this card, it's bad mana fixing. Because <laughs> it, it doesn't leave you up on mana. It gains you three life, I guess, but cards that gain you three life are bad. <laughs> um... um yeah, Limited Resources has, like, an entire half-hour-long section of an episode dedicated to shitting on Navigator's Compass. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five mana. Can't play the Steel Leaf Champion. I can attack with Bloodstone Goblin, Gift of Growth it. If they double block? Yeah, I will do that. If they don't double block, then I get in for two, which is fine. Attack with this. Okay. Double block thinking you can kill it. No, they just don't block. That's fine. 
Uh, can't play Grun. Why does it keep saying I can play Grun? Um, four, five, it costs six. All right, I end my turn. All right. So they aren't using their land war scouts to play any more lands, which is why I don't think this card is very good, because now it's just a 1-3. They have Navigator's Compass, which, what are you doing with that? And they're in Jund colors, so... I don't know what this deck is trying to do. Seems like it's trying to be a big mana deck, but like... I haven't seen any big mana payoffs. You have Stronghold Confessor and... Ballad Omnivore? I haven't seen any other Sapperling stuff. Okay, there's Torgar. Fine. <laughs> Mm. Um, my life total is about to become 10. I can still... I leave Bloodstone Goblin up to block. And then Gift of Growth to kill Torgar when they attack with it. My turn. There's that forest. If I use all of my green mana now, I can't kill Torgar. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Uh, do we play Grun? No. We end our turn. And wait for them to attack with Torgar. Watch them just play another Torgar and set their own life total to 10 as a power move. All right. <clears throat> So next turn, we have mana for Steel Leaf Champion. We have mana to play Grun Unkicked. Um, are they even going to attack with Torgar? Do they see this coming? Yeah, move to attacks. Looks like, yep, all right, fine with this. Are they going to Gift of Growth is the question. One blocker. And Gift of Growth. Kicked. On this. Tap you for two, cost four, three, four. Okay, so now it gets plus five, plus five. Still dies. <laughs> um, but it does kill Torgar, assuming they don't do anything in response. Which is a big assumption, to be fair. They have lots of mana up. Okay, Bloodstone Goblin resolved, Gift of Growth resolves. And trade. Okay, I'm happy with this, because now we can start going on the offensive. And they didn't play anything. I'm happier with that. All right, so Grun the Lonely King costs nine if we kick it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we don't have enough mana to kick it. I think we play Steel Leaf Champion here because it can't be blocked by Land War Scout. Um... Which is unfortunate because that leaves us unable to play Adventurous Impulse, which I kind of want to do. But this is the more offensive card right now. And we are the beatdown, I think. So. We're just going to go with that and see how it goes. Alright, they finally got that seventh land. The seventh land that they've been waiting for this whole game. Uh, if that Navigator's Compass were a basic land, then they could have eight lands and they could actually play something. Because God knows, every card in Magic costs no less than eight. Oh, they're taking my Steel Leaf Champion for a turn. Okay. Uh, do you have haste? You do. Ah, oh, nine! You're gonna hit me for nine! <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Down to one. All right, I've got Skizik now. You're at 15. Um, I can hit you for 10. Adventurous Impulse, Grun. Let's see. I can't kick Grun, which I don't think is a problem. If I play Grun, they have to leave dudes up to block. I'm dead to a shock. Um, yeah, let's play Grun. 
uh, without kicker, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, cancel. Um, yeah, go ahead and do it. Because unless they play another hasty dude, we're still going to be fine. No attackers. All right. Do you have something that wins you the game? What is on top of the deck? Yes, you still have seven mana. You can stop checking. Eviscerate Grun, attack with two dudes. All right, perfect. Good job. What do you mean such a long game? Huh? What do you mean such a long game? It was a long game? No, it wasn't. It wasn't? No, it was like 10 minutes. Yeah, both of those games took less than 20 minutes, according to the Audacity file. Nice. Mm-hmm. All right, so that was one loss. Not that big of a deal. Um, Keldon Overseer? Fine. Good card. Wish we had one. Um, other than that, one to one, not bad. I'm still confident we can go like five and two. So thank you all for watching. Until next time, this has been Explanation Point. Bryant here with Evan. Hi. Uh, playing magic for your amusement. See you.